In order to run how to run JUnit from IntelliJ, first I am going to create a new project. My IntelliJ is currently opened. Let me click on this new project option. I am going to create a Maven project. Let me provide a project name. The location is by default selected for me because I selected this location earlier while executing other projects. In your case, you can also provide a particular directory. Skip this option, create git repository, language Java selected, build system, I am going to select Maven. JDK, here I have JDK installed in my system, IntelliJ has detected that. In your case, if it is not the case, I would recommend you to install the JDK and if the JDK is installed, you can click this option add JDK and point IntelliJ to your JDK location. Clicking on create, let me maximize this. Now in this Maven project, let me open this source directory. I have main and test. First thing I need to do, I need to add the JUnit dependencies in the pom.xml. Going to use JUnit 5. So let me add the dependencies over here. I have added the JUnit dependencies over here. As you can see, specifically I am using JUnit Jupyter. In case you want to check the latest Maven dependency version, you can just check in, in your search engine like JUnit Jupyter Maven dependency. If I go over here, what I can see, okay, these are the latest versions. I'm not going to use this one. Maybe 5.10.3 I can use. So I have clicked this and this is the dependency. If I click over here, it is automatically copied. Let me go back here and replace this. Now, in order to download this library, what we need to do in case if you see this option, load Maven changes, you can click over here. But by chance, if it does not appear, here on the Maven section, if you click, you can see this particular icon, Reload All Maven Projects. This you can use. As this one is available for me, let me click over here. Now you have noticed that this version was red. After downloading the dependencies, this has changed from red to black. So on the right hand side also, if I expand, I have multiple lifecycle options I can run if needed. But anyways, let me focus on writing the JUnits now. Another important thing before I go on writing the JUnit tests is the directory structure. If you see over here, we have the source directory, then we have main and test. Generally, under test, we write all the JUnits. But it may happen in your project, maybe the test folder is not generated. So one thing you need to check carefully, if the test folder is not there, you need to create it. And inside that, this Java should be your test root folder. One easy way is to you create this particular folder and inside that Java is there. Right click on this and here at the bottom mark directly as test sources root. Now here as it is already marked as source, it is giving me the option to unmark. But in case if it is not so, you need to use this particular option. Similarly, just to show you, I don't have the resources folder created over here. Right? If I want to create it, what I would do? New directory resources press enter. Now, IntelliJ has identified this. Let me just check. Right click. Now, it is giving me the unmark option because it is already identified as test resources root. Another simple way to understand whether these are selected properly or not. One is the curl coding you can see over here. It's pretty user friendly. Another simpler way whether all the directories are identified properly by IntelliJ IDEA or not is to go to file project structure. Keep this in mind. For anything related to the project, we should go here. So I am in project structure. By default, this project would be selected. Go to modules and under modules in sources, if you see over here on the right hand side, it shows you what is your source folder, what is your test source folder, resources folder, test resources folder. And if you see something is wrong, accordingly, you can edit them. Now, let us write some JUnit test cases, but before writing JUnit test cases, we need some sample files or sample utility which we are going to test. So, for that, let me create a package. Center. And here, I am going to create two sample classes. I am not going to waste your time by typing the code. I am just going to create those classes and once that is done, I will resume the recording. So, I have created two utility classes. One is calculator. The code is pretty simple. Calculator is having all the sample methods like add, subtract, multiply, divide. 
and string utility also has two methods, reverse and palindrome. So, these are just dummy classes to see how the JUnit could be created. Now, if I want to create the unit test class, what I can do? Standard wise, I have to create same package inside this test class and create the test classes like for calculator it should be calculated test string utils it should be string utils test it is not a very stringent or hard and fast rule but generally what we do whatever class we try to test we add test at the end to create the JUnit classes so I can create a package manually and start writing the test classes or I can take the help of IntelliJ IDEA feature over here what I can do if I open this calculator file right click generate click on test here, what library I am going to use? JUnit 5. Class name automatically it is proposing calculated test. Super class ignore. Destination package it is already providing. And here it is reading from the source file and telling me what are the methods you want to test. Let me select all of them. Right. And I can customize like I can generate setup or before, tear down, after. I am not going into the details what is the usage of them. But for the time being, I am clicking on OK. So, what IntelliJ has done, it has given me the sample skeleton. If I expand here, it has given me the skeleton over here. Similarly, I can do the same thing for string utils also. I can right click over here or you can go to code, generate, same feature, click test, select both methods, click OK. Same way, it has generated the skeletal code for you. There is no logic involved. So, let me close all this. And I would provide sample code for all this JUnit test classes, opening calculator test. Just added the sample test methods over here for calculator test. Same way, I am going to paste the code in string util test. So, some test methods are added over here. So, for both of the utility classes, the JUnits are there and I have populated the code for this calculator test and string utils test. Now, how to run the JUnit? There are multiple options. One is you can select a particular class, this calculator test. You can right click, run calculator test. Let me do that. So, here on the left hand side, you can see this is the calculator test and all the test methods that is available here has been executed and it is showing tests passed 5 out of 5 total time taken 67 millisecond we can sort the method names alphabetically over here i can try that so the sorting is possible you can sort by duration now when the tests are very lengthy these options could be helpful going back to this run option so i can run it from here at class level if i go to the top here at the class level from here also, if I run, all the test cases would be running. Similarly, I can run from this option here, this green arrow-like icon. I can run individual test also, test add method. Let me try that. Click. All three options would be coming. Select this, run. Now, only this test add is executed. Test passed, one. There is another interesting option. What we can do, we can drag this a little bit. Then some other options would appear. If you see these icons here, this is for test history. So, we had two iterations. One is we ran this test add. And previous to that, we ran all the methods of calculator test. So, we can toggle between them and we can check the results. So, this is the option where we can check the test history. We can also export test results. Let me try that out. If I click export option is provided here, I can have HTML, XML or custom template. Let's try this out. Click on OK. I think it has generated somewhere. Yeah, this is the one. Let me try to open this. If I click open in browser, maybe edge. OK, so here I have the test results. The same thing that we saw in IntelliJ in the HTML report as well. Let's go back to IntelliJ. We ran the test for an individual class, individual method. Another thing what I can try, I can run it at package level. Or I can select two classes like this and run from here also. Let me try this just to show you. Run tests in this package. Similarly, if there are multiple packages, I can select those packages and execute here. So, I have calculated test results. I have string util test results also. And if I click from here, the source would open. Just to demonstrate another feature over here, I want to fail one test. Madam is a palindrome. This should be true, but I am just trying to fail this test over here. I will run this entire package JUnits. Why I am doing this? You will come to know. Now, these tests are running all together. 
Suppose in real life scenario, most of your test cases have run, but only one has failed. So here you can see this one has failed. So what you would like to do? When you do the fix, you would like to run only the one which you fix. If running all of them takes a good amount of time, you would try to avoid, right? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make some fix or whatever in real life scenario. Maybe I have fixed this. What I would do, I can run this from here. That is one option. I don't want to run them all. I can run it from here also. Another nice feature is here, rerun fail tests. So this is a useful feature in real life projects when you have high number of test cases, this becomes handy. Let me run this. So now it has run only this one. So whatever we have done so far is we have created some dummy util classes. We have created the JUnits from them. We have run them and we have seen multiple options in terms of running them, in terms of code generation, the basic skeletal code generation using IntelliJ IDEA. And again, at the end, if I go here, if I click on this, I have the history over here. Whatever tests run I have done, the history is there. I can navigate between them and I can check the output. Overall, what we have done, we have created a sample Maven project. Instead of Maven sample, it should have been JUnit sample anyways. So we have created one sample Maven project. We have added the JUnit 5 dependency and created some sample classes and created the sample JUnit test for those classes. In that process, we saw how the test classes can be generated. We can write the code from the scratch, but it's always better to use the features that is provided within the ID so that it saves some time. Then we saw multiple ways to run the test methods, the test classes to generate the report out of it and some handy utilities like rerunning of failed test cases or exporting the test results which could be handy in real-life project scenarios.